Okay, all right. We have to do the viral hit. Now, to be fair, I have heard oh, the chorus behind the song because it was everywhere on TikTok. So I wanted to go and actually listen to the full thing. <laughs> Let's check it out. Gave myself a jump scare. She has such a cool sounding voice. Give her a solo. This sounds pretty catchy, holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. to do a little bit of confessing when i saw this like trending on tiktok i think i pretty much lit, watched every single video under this sound i just thought that the uh that the choir the chorus like dance the look at me part is just so catchy and so like literally one of the most perfect things like ever just because it's something simple it's catchy it's fun and honestly it's super cute I think the one thing that I find really interesting, okay, so I've been listening to Twice for quite some time now, I feel like, and I think it's just now more recently, especially when, like when the Killing Voices came out, that I kind of notice that how much in terms of uh, like line distribution goes to a lot of, like how the, it goes out to a lot of the members. And I have to tell you, I am shocked. Not because it's bad or anything like that. I just wasn't expecting it. At how many lines that, like, Mina gets, you know? And, I mean, I think she's a solid vocal. I think there's a reason why. She's kind of an anchor vocal. But the funny thing is, is about everything that I see from her, and, I mean, I've actually known vocalists like this anyway, 
is that she's not she's just not really expressive as a singer she's just kind of feels like she's like got it so down that it's just like breathing I will admit one more thing too about this is that I seriously think that this was probably at the my my own personal height of K-pop. Not for like liking it or anything, but this is probably when this song started to trend on TikTok. Uh, this is probably when I was legitimately the most obsessed. I was so shocked. <laughs> See, like, uh, like I said, like, it's not that it's a bad thing. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to sound negative. But she's just not very expressive as a singer, like, vocally speaking. And honestly, it's actually fairly common that a lot of times, like, you just perform how you feel most naturally. And some people just don't have that kind of, like, same facial expression as, like, a, you know, as, like, Jihyo does, for example. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about the actual sound itself. <laughs> this song, in a lot of senses, I think is almost like a perfect pop song. And the funny thing is, too, had this even been before, um, even during, while I've had this channel, I'd say before I even listened to um, SNSD or Girls' Generation, I probably would have not liked this song. It would have been a little too cutesy, but like I, like I said, for some reason... As I've gotten into K-pop, the cutesy stuff has become kind of like my guilty pleasure. So, the thing that I find so interesting about it is, one, their voices really capture an innocence kind of feel to the song. It just kind of permeates that so there's a kind of this innocence. Um, the second thing is the synthesizer that they're using. The samples that they have on there is very light and very very fine it's almost a crystallis like it's almost like a crystal sound you know it really just has this really pure like tone that kind of pierces throughout everything first and foremost but the thing that i think also works is that there are parts where they actually will pause the singing they kind of like have it broken up into little sections and i think that that all that together is just kind of what causes this song to be kind of a in a lot of ways as a pop song kind of a kind of perfect <laughs> Now, not the no, the other thing is too. Like I said, is this dance? The dance is so perfect because everybody can do this. And trust me, like I said, I saw every single TikTok that used this sound. I'm not even joking. I liked probably thousands of these. <laughs> So the sun is just a lot of fun, and it's cute. That I think that's the the biggest things about it. But honestly, there is kind of a dynamic and an innocence that kind of 
permeates throughout the song. So, yeah, no, it's kind of funny that it's taken this long to get to this song because I know that it's not really super trendy on like TikTok or any of the social medias anymore, but I am still kind of obsessed with the dance. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what y'all think about this. I think this song is actually super catchy. This might be one of their most catchy songs, I'm not going to lie. So, anyway, we'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.